from my new candlestick. Oh yeah. I do need some. Didn't I say I wasn't coming here because it's overpriced? Oh, this is what I like. See these face for towels? How much are they? These are hand towels, but I want some like bougie face towels. Cause I was like downstairs and I wanted to wash my child's hands. And for some reason I opened and I couldn't find any, these are pretty too. I couldn't find any um, face rags. I'm always drawn to like tiny polka dots. I don't know why it just like draws me in. I wish I they had these in the polka dots. That's a honeycomb. And the other, that little, um, the click. Don't do that, Logan. It's going to fall backwards on you. Okay? Don't do that. At the other boutique, they had the mini polka dots that I'm looking for. These are pretty too. With the scallop. How much are they? Nine dollars each. The other place they were trying to charge fifteen fourteen ninety nine for each plate, you know? That was way too much. Just came here for candles. Let's see what we can find. I've been up three days out of all the red ball. This call is a mistake. Yeah. There's something strong in this water bottle. I hear you got a new chick. I dance a little Bobby doll. I feel so pathetic, but just I haven't heard it all. Screw that new girl that you like so bad. Oversized vase. There's one, but clear vases. I want something unique. Oh, this one's kind of different, but that's too Christmassy. This is cute, but it's too small. Mugs. I don't see any vase. There's two of these chairs. There's two of them. There's one. And then there's the other. But the last thing I need is two big puffy chairs. But I don't see any vases, so I think I'm going to go. Which is great because I saved money. Oh, look at these. Cute. What size are these? <gasps> Are they my size? Hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got. It's super foggy, dreary day. It's like overcast, but we're gonna go ahead and see if we can do this little haul. Let me turn the camera around. Don't ask me what's going on with my hair. I'm like growing it out, but of course, oh, I took my kids ice skating. So, you know, when I was young, like probably like 10 to 13, I was a competitive figure skater. So I took my kids ice skating, had to rent the skates. It's kind of hard, you know, cause I'm used to having my own skates, but it was super fun. I can still skate backwards, do everything, waltz, jumps, little easy things. I can't like do a double axle or sow cow or anything, but it was fun. Oh yeah, and by the way, I'm wearing these Hilara pants. They're called the So Cinch, they're cute. They're like super cute, not see-through. I love a good little pair of leggings. Kind of not like, kind of expensive though. Like, I'm just paying like twenty dollars for leggings, but you really do get what you pay for. These are like thirty five, so I feel like they were a little overpriced. But anyways, yeah. So I popped into World Market. I think World Market is so much better than Home Goods, you guys. They, actually, they don't have as much cute knickknacks as Home Goods, but like their linens and stuff are good quality, like their kitchen tea towels and things like that. So let me show you. So I bought this hand towel in the bathroom. Remember we did the bathroom? We did like a bathroom makeover. So I bought this little hand towel and I love it. Like every time I go in there, I, my eye always goes to it. Um, you see how the bathroom, like the colors and I just like mixing patterns and I think it looks pretty. So I got a bathroom towel for upstairs and then I got some more hand towels. I think they were $10 each so that when that one gets dirty, I can have backup. And I can use these for the upstairs bathroom as well. Cause I was opening, see our, our laundry room, it's nice because our laundry room has all these different drawers. Let me show you, hold on. 
I'll bring you guys with me. So the laundry room. Okay, so we'll start with the bathroom. You see how the bathroom, like, oops, the light. It has like the art that I created. Remember I painted that art? But then you see the hand towel right there. I love the way that looks. Remember I did this bathroom, I did the frame. I did the, painted this black. To put the marble here, the granite to match. This is not my favorite granite, but to save money, I just matched the existing granite. So I put the backsplash and this, actually my husband did it. He cut this. Um, I painted these black. But anyways, I love that hand towel. And so when I was opening up, okay, this is my laundry room. I did this laundry room makeover as well. Don't look, it's a mess right now, but this top drawer is only for hand towels. And I was like, I had none. I mean, there's like a lot of plates, mats, and table runners, but right here I had no hand towels. So I just um, purchased those so I can have like a little set. And I feel like when you spend money and buy quality, Towels, hand towels, etc. Every time you use it or look at it, it's just more of a good little feeling, you know? Okay, so I got these from World Market. And then I kind of like splurged on different plates. Like this has a pretty scalloped edge, right? And then I got another matching one. So we have two, two plates with a pretty scalloped edge. And then I had to buy this, this one. Thought these were pretty. So I think these look good together. Look, those. I have black square plates in my kitchen and I don't like them. I don't like how all the edges take up so much room and you only put the food in the middle. It's just like a waste of space. I wouldn't recommend getting big square plates. It was an experiment. <laughs> okay, so then I got this little bowl, which I love. It has the crazing. I think it's called crazing when you get like different colors around the edges. So I got this cute little bowl. I like how it's modeled. These all match, but they don't, they coordinate, but they're not matching, matching. Look at this bowl. That one. Look at this one, this is probably my favorite. I have such a thing for polka dots. Anytime I see polka dots, I really love it. So I got that, a nice big salad bowl. You can even eat ramen, fried rice. Got that one. And the last bowl I got was this one, which I love how it's like oblong. It's not a perfect circle. And when you lay them out, they look very pretty together. Look, see when you look at all them, they look really nice together. The lighting's not great, but they all kind of coordinate with a neutral vibe. So I got those. I've had, oh, I've had these on the table forever waiting, waiting to share. Oh, look how cute it looks like that. Look, look how cute. Can you see it like that? Really cute. These candles, which are really cute. Right, the swirl. These are for over here, look. I'm gonna use these candles. Remember last time we went to a little thrift store in Fresno? Can you see? And I got this brass. Only thing is I'm gonna have to cut it. I have to cut this in half. This is gonna go like this. Let me get scissors, hold on. It's gonna go like this. Right in there. I mean, I, th I think I have to melt some, whoa, wax. Oh no, it's cute. Like this, like that. Pretty. Yeah, cute, very cute. Okay, so let me finish showing you what else I got. Then I got a cheese grater. Mine's still beat up. Um, yeah, so I got a cheese grater. 
And then I got these cookies. Anytime it's like a biscuit with chocolate, I love it. Especially like world market, those Asian ones, European ones, biscuits with the chocolate in the middle, super good. I got some micellar water for the days that I wanna wear like makeup or mascara, which I really do. And then one of the best things that I got, oh no, let me show you this real quick. Oh, this is for my daughter. She got some bath drops. Yeah, that's fun. You know, you put them in the bath. But this hand soap, I thought it was really pretty. It smells really good too. These are for my daughters. This is for my 17 year old daughter's bathroom. And this is for my 10 year old to play with in the bathtub. Okay. But one of my, oh, and then I got, Oh, I got that. I have a, a new Tesla. I have a Model S. I love my car. I feel like such a fast, I mean, people always want to race too. I didn't know it was a race car. My husband actually picked it out. It's like dual performance. Not stealth mode. Ludicrous mode. It's super fast. Then my dad got me this car back, which is okay. It has these attachments. It has like a longer one too. Only thing is, it's not that strong, but my dad got it for me for Christmas. So I'm not gonna complain. So I'm gonna keep this in my car. Comes with like a handy little case. And um, I got my favorite Sunblock Elta MD. Every time I try to switch up and use something else, I break out. Elta MD never breaks me out. It doesn't really irritate my eyes a little bit. Anything with zinc does irritate my eyes, but Elta MD, you cannot beat this Sunblock. It's like 35 bucks. But it's pretty big. It's not small. Look, you get all that. And this will last you three months. So $10 a month, you can't beat that. So I got that. Then, okay. So, you know, everyone's on this castor oil kick, right? So what I did was I purchased roller balls. I'll show you. So purchase one of these, and then it comes with a little funnel like this. Can you guys see? Hold on. Let's see if I can tilt it forward. Put it right here. I know you guys can't really see, but this is um, Sky Organics castor oil. Comes with a funnel. You pour it in there. All right, it takes a minute because it's very thick. My husband can use this on the scalp. I can use this on my son's. I can use this medicated lotion for his um, dandruff and then put some of this on top just to like seal everything in. And gave some of my daughter. You put on your lips. It's supposed to make your eyelashes grow. Now, a lot of things are hype in our bunk and don't really make your hair grow or anything, but I'm gonna give it a go because you know I suffer from alopecia. So I'm pretty much willing to try anything. So we have it like that. Yeah, I'm gonna give this to my husband for his scalp. Then you take the little roller ball like this. Just squeeze it in. Put the little top on. And now you have the perfect applicator to Put it on your scalp, your eyelashes, your whatever, your feet, your lips, on your eyes, your eyebrows. Yeah, so I love that. That's probably like one of my favorite purchases of this little haul. The last thing I'm gonna show you is something for my husband now. He's really good at chess, so is my daughter. But I can't play chess and I wanna teach myself. Well, not teach myself, I want my husband to teach me, but um, so we need another chess board. He plays online like every day. But, um, so I'm gonna show you this chess board that I got. Oh my God, look how dark it's getting. Okay, so my lone fox shares this. And he, I don't know if he plays, but we're actually gonna, I'm gonna learn. And I'm gonna hopefully get to a point where I can kick my husband's butt. But my husband's so funny. He will not let anybody win in a board game. He, growing up, he wouldn't even let our kids beat him in Scrabble. I have to go right now, so. I don't know if I have enough time to do this. This is one of those things though, if you enlist someone to help you, <laughs> everything will be all crooked, you know? So Ross has all the Valentine stuff out. 
Now you know Ross gives me a headache, but like it's only four dollars, three ninety nine. Oh, you could make a little Valentine coffee station. So many little options. This cute little tray. I need to stop buying trays. I've got so many trays. What is this little thing for? Heart and Park stoneware mug. Oh, you put chili in there. Heat up chili. I think I'm gonna get this for my son. When he heats his stuff up. Look at this. Look, it has like a little love letter sign. Teacups. Oh, that is cute for Valentine's. I need bigger coffee pots than this. This is only $3.99. What can I put in there? I wish I had a little spoon. I could put my um, exfoliator. Exfoliators in there. Oh, look. Baking. I'm going to get this. Sucker for these. I have so many canisters at home. I'd be a fool to spend more money on another canister just because it has little hearts on it. You know? I really have to control myself. This is cute. Oh, look at this box. <gasps> this is nice. Only seven dollars. That is pretty. You know, I think I'm gonna get this and put my um. See, I'm not gonna get this. This is just a waste of money. But I think I will get this to put my um exfoliating stuff in in my bag. Okay, so I got this from Target probably like five years ago. It's just like bookends. And at Ross, they had this cute little coaster. So I'm gonna put this by my bed before I was using these Marquina marble, which I love. I have a bunch of things in this design. But I think I'm gonna put this by my bed for spring. Little cup holder, and then I got myself this coffee mug. So cute, it's gonna stay warm with the little crown. And then I got this, which is for my Brighton and Buff, which has cowling clay, rice powder, lactic acid. Don't mind that, but so that, I use that. I just need a little spoon, but it makes my skin look very shiny and glossy and pretty. And then I got this uh, spoon rest. So let me show you guys the um, chess board. And this looks good. Like I love different metals. Okay, so here's the chess set. Remember we put it together. I had to individually put each one of these things on, but I can't wait to learn how to play chess. That's definitely on my bucket list, my husband. And my daughter, my 10-year-old daughter, they're really good at playing chess. And I just never learned. I'm not that good at, like, board games, card games. I don't know. I just, my mind doesn't understand those concepts that easily. Speaking of understanding concepts, oh, my God, chemistry class is so hard already. After the first week, even, I'm just like, Ugh, I'm going to need a tutor. When I took it in 2008, I had a tutor, and I still barely scraped by with a C. So I'm definitely going to need a tutor this time around. Again at 47, because like I said before, remember, I'm repeating four classes so I can apply to nursing school. I've already taken the four science courses. However, they're over 10 years old, so I'm repeating them. But anyways, yes, I will be learning chess. So this board, I think Lone Fox suggested this board as well. It was uh, $99, which is not bad. Only thing is, I wish it would have came with a carrying case. I would have gladly paid an extra $20 for it to come with a carrying case. But anyways, that's my vlog for today. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.